This is the Halvor Grassi 64. It's the company's largest and most complex boat to date and everything on board is designed to be push button operated from the headsail sheets to the captive main sheet system, even the halyard fine tunes. At 64 feet, this boat is getting towards the sort of size where many owners opt for a professional skipper to help. But Halberg Rassi insists that cruising couples remain the company's main market. I was skeptical initially, but the hydraulic controls are so fast and responsive that it's possible while you're helming to feather the main in gusts, just like you would a dinghy. And provided the systems are all working, it's a real treat to sail. There are lots of clever details on the boat, like this closing board on a gas spring. Halberg Rassi were the first manufacturer to introduce armchairs on their boats and they've become something of a hallmark. They're really comfortable on either tack. But this is also a great place to show you the quality of joinery that's also a hallmark of Halberg Rassi's and the attention to detail behind the scenes. Have a look at this. Look at the beautiful laminated wood behind the seat, the structure of the seat, and also the lockers that you've got here and how the veneer is very carefully matched, the grain of the veneer is very carefully matched up here. And then if you open it up, you can see the wooden slats that allow ventilation between the inside of the locker and the hull. And that quality of detail is everywhere on the boat. This is the engine room of the Halberg Graf C64. Um, it's got um, the major machinery, 280 horsepower engine, 12 kilowatt generator, has a lot of machinery here, but it's all really carefully annotated what everything is and what it does. That's a central manifold for all the water outlets. And there are quite a few clever ideas here for making your life on board easy, making maintenance a little bit easier. For example, Look at this toolbox. The place to put all the bits and pieces that you've just unscrewed.
read our full boat test report in the September 2011 issue of Yachting World.